Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. And especially welcome back to the production overhaul mod in this little mini-series I've been doing. Showing all the different areas that uh, this mod changes about the game. Now this is the third episode and most likely the final episode because this episode we're going to be showing off all of the power stuff which you probably guessed from the uh, time lapse mon not uh, I don't know what I'd call it a little like montage sped up bits of pieces I like doing them sort of things so I'll probably end up doing them more but yeah hopefully you enjoyed that um there's quite a lot of power means in this uh, mod pack so one of the big ones is these gigantic wind turbines so if I hover over this one, you can see it's producing 300 and, uh, uh, sorry, 3,736 kilowatts. And that is the, probably similar for everyone, yeah. 3,736. Yep. So if we compared that to, you know, your standard wind turbine at 320, you can see these are 10 times better. <laughs> But of course, that there is a reason for that with all the uh, added production box. So this is your passive production. Well, we also have some passive production here. So these we have, uh, of course, our standard solar panels, which produce 2,430, let's say, 43 kilowatts at this current point in time. They're running at uh, pretty much full efficiency, not too bad. Let's compare it to these spectrum... What are they called? Full spectrum solar panels. 685. So it's about, I would say, it's about a three times increase. Which, again, for the same amount of space, really, really good. You can't really fault it there. And then, what else? Let's, yeah, let's start here. Okay, so here. We have a... what block is this? Geo... ah, oh, okay. So we have a geothermal well. So this is a block which... Uh, you build on your surface, on your grid, and then you've got to dig down, and you've got to dig down a, a certain amount of blocks. So in this case, if I go into F8, and um, not F8, F... What am I doing? No. Oh, hello. Come on. I'm a professional. Oh, ah. Alright, there we go. Um, we can see we have these blocks going all the way down, all the way down into the ground, until we get to the um, wellhead. And what this is doing, it's 150 meters down the ground, is it is producing it'll be 7.5 steam per second. So an automatic way of producing steam. So yeah, reduce thermal pipes, pretty easy to build. Uh, we also have pipe maps, and if you want to build it, just let's see the side of the block. And then the head. So. Produces 7.5 steam per second per 100 meters of depth below 150 meters. Oh, okay. So I, I put it down 150 meters, really you probably want to put it down 250 meters, that way you actually get 7.5, but it's fine. You, you know what I mean, you've got to dig down into the ground, and then uh, yeah, we can put it into a buffer tank. This is what this is, so it's like a, like a hydrogen tank, but for storing steam. And then we can use our, of course, steam turbines to uh, consume that steam and produce us our power. So these turbines, I believe, consume 50, uh, yeah, 50 steam per second. So you'd need actually quite a few things, but it produces 50 megawatts of power. So that's quite a lot. Uh, we can, other methods of making steam are these uh, solar reflective things, solar concentrators, yes. Now, these work pretty much identically to a solar panel. They, uh, 
when they're in light they produce a large amount does it say an amount yeah produces 0 0.5 steam per second so it'll only work throughout the day but it's another passive way of making steam um and you can of course hook it up to something like this so if you have a couple of we got some dedicated steam rotors because you need to let all the steam pass through and have their own system so you know it's fine and I also put a, uh, I used Izzy's solar alignment script. And uh, yeah, yeah, it works with the rotors. If you, you know, group group it solar rotors, it um, will actually align it to the sun. And uh, yeah, it's actually kind of cool. I, I like these. I might have to have these in some of my series. Ser series. Plural. <laughs> So that's the main methods of making steam and powering. We also do have some reactors I'll show later on. We also have that over there. But I'm going to talk a little bit about batteries. So power storage. Now this mod adds, well, five. Well, technically adds four forms of batteries. One of them is, you know, your base game, your lithium. So we'll start off with your acid, or acid, sorry, alkaline batteries. Now these alkaline batteries, they store only a small amount. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I have them on. I don't. Uh, alkaline batteries, so yeah, they are a... I want to see how much they actually store. Six megawatts of power. Oh no, sorry, they can output six megawatts of power. And they store one million... No, sorry. They can output 6 megawatts and they can store 1 uh, megawatt hour worth of power. However, they cannot be charged. So once you build them, they will have... I'm guessing they'll start off with a full power and then they'll just slowly deplete over time. Which is interesting. Then we move over to the lead acid, yes. Now these lead acids, I believe, can be charged. Let's, uh... Let's see. Oh, it's just called an acid battery. I'm guessing it's... Oh no, it's a sulfuric acid battery. Okay. Um... Alright, so stores, power, cells are not reusable. So like base game, if you grind down, the cells will just get completely removed. In the lithium ones, they actually stay now, so it's nice. Um, it's less efficient in terms of charging, but it can charge, which, you know, it's a plus. And then we have, of course, our just general lithium batteries. They store their usual amount, their th um, three megawatt hours and uh, they can output yeah the 12 megawatt hours just that it's just a normal battery but the benefit is if you grind down the lithium you actually keep it then we get on to some advanced modded ones so we start off with a capacitor now this capacitor can store well, only a hundred kilowatt hours but can output 15 megawatts I'm sorry 250 megawatts per second so like a like a capacity you have on most stuff it stores a little bit so it can charge nice and quickly but then on like a surge if you need like a rapid or a really quick supply of power these are going to be really really good for it and they just use some capacitor cells which you can make in the uh i believe it's the advanced assembler or something like that and then we go to the Electron Matrix Bank. And I don't actually know much about this. So I'm going to look at it. Stores individual high energy electrons in a nano crystalline. It's that thing. Extremely high storage density and output potential. Nice 100% charging efficiency. Stores 250 megawatt hours and can output 50 megawatt hours. It is your best of your best battery. When you comp so that's yeah, that's 250 mega hours where you compare it to a lithium battery, which is three thousand or three that's three mega hours. 
and that's 250 megawatt hour. Yeah, it's uh, quite a lot. So then we showed off the solar panels. Um, all right, so let's get let's talk about re reactors. Now, modded or oh, these modded reactors work a little bit differently to how they work base game or in base game reactors because base game reactors you plonk it down you put in some fuel and wrap a bing wrap about whatever i'm saying it produces power that's it okay these ones you put in some i believe it's called yet yeah, nuclear fuel they go into your reactor reactor creates steam um so we have two different types of reactors we have a, a like a rapid and uh, should probably actually get the names of these yeah, so we have a nuclear reactor and we have a fast nuclear reactor. The fast one produces 300 steam per second. And the uh, normal one produces 500 for the exact same amount of fuel. So 300 on this small one. Um, as you may remember, each one of these turbines can uh, well, will use 50 steam per second. So that means we can have six turbines. And if each one's 50 megawatts, you know what that means. That means that's a lot of power. That's uh, whatever it be, uh, 50, 100, 150, 300. 300 megawatts worth of power, which, or power output potential. That's quite nice. And then you move over to the big boy reactor, which can produce 500 steam per second. So then you can put 10 of these things on, which means you can have 500 megawatts per second of power. But as you can see, the uh, template of these take up is uh, substantially larger than, you know, just a standard 3x3x3 three by three by three reactor. So maybe we want to go something a little bit smaller. Maybe we want to go to a fusion reactor. Yes. Fusion reactors, they consume uh, de de tri deuterium. I'm going to say, I'm going to call it deuterium. Yes, it's going to deter your enemies. Consumes 20 litres per second of deuterium and produces one gigawatt of power. Oh, yes, one gigawatt. Um, so, yeah, that's literally double. That's, that's two of them. Yeah, it's a lot of power. And there's a couple of ways of making deter deuterium, de whatever you want to call it. We have all sorts of uh, tanks for deuterium, de that thing. Uh, so we have just your normal tanks. We got some long boys, some square boys, some small round boys, some cylinder boys, some uh, gas tanks. Uh, we also have fuel tanks, but that's for rockets. That's not exciting. And yeah, so we got, we have actually a good range of sizes. Um, and you may be thinking, how on earth do you make deuterium? Deuterium. Deuterium. Well, you make it using none other than ice. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, you put ice in a deuterium extractor and it gets a very small amount out. In, and you can put it in a tank and you can burn it. Like, you, you're probably going to need, like, a hundred of these things to actually make one of them run properly, but, you know. That's why you have these bad boys. So, let's say you're on a station, or something floating around in space, or a big ship. You can put one of these on your ship, and it will produce the goodness on its own. Uh, what, what are these called? Uh... Ram scoop, yes. So this produces 2.5 liters of deuterium at 100 meters per second, and that's important. So this thing produces um, deuterium whilst it's moving. So that might be moving in a straight line, or that might be, uh, let's say we a rotor down and put a like, hundred blocks out in one direction and you spun it that would technically also be classed as speed 
which basically means you could make a gigantic factory and that is something i plan on doing in the future so stay tuned and subscribe for that but yeah that is the main gist of it if you want to be fully you know off grid living on your own small amount of renewable power well it's not exactly like a small amount but you know you've got these if you want to be making reactors and burning uranium well you can do that or if you want to be using just the power of a sun you can do that as well and as you can see the whole thing is actually moving with the sun it's really cool um and yeah if you wanted to do a system like this you can have plenty of steam storage so you've got power all night long or you could be a mad, absolute mad lad and make a gigantic uh, deuterium production facility. But yeah, the stage, well not the stage, the uh, options are endless and all yours. You can use any type of power supply. You can make an absolutely very densely powered ship. They're going to be very good for jump drives. But yeah, that's all i've got time for today it is way too warm as it has been the biggest heat wave in england that i've ever had to deal with it's got up to 40 degrees c and i don't know what that means for you american lot or people who use the met uh, the uh, fahrenheit system stuff but and i don't really know how you think about heat but it, heat is too warm for me i'm i'm used to cold so yeah enjoy uh sorry if uh, these videos have been a bit delayed it's also to do with the heat i can't really have my computer on all the time because <clears throat> that makes it even worse but yeah if you uh, enjoy the type of content i do please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you're new it really really does help me out a lot uh if you have any ideas for things you want me to show off any of the mods or anything in general like builds or stuff leave a link in the description uh, or join my discord link will be in the video down below we'll also be doing some stuff on there fairly shortly so uh stay tuned for stuff on there and uh yeah my name has been quantum chief and i'll see you all in the next video bye <laughs>